Hello there. You have to forgive my outfit here, but for the part of the lab that involved the patellofemoral observations, it was just too hard to say in writing, so I recorded a little video, okay? Um, I'd like you, just like we did in lab, in person, I'd like you to do this assessment on yourself, okay? So I'm going to show you my knee here. You're not going to see my face in just a moment, but you can hear my voice. You'll have to forgive some of the lines that are on there because that's a remnant from what we did in the Q angle, okay? For this part of the lab, you're going to be assessing three different things, okay? You want to be seated with your legs extended, and the key is to have your knee relaxed. You want to have your muscles relaxed. What you're going to do is, the first part of the lab is identifying your patellar position. I just like to put my fingers on one border and the other. This is the inside border of my patella. You can see when I move it around, right? This is the inside border of my patella, and this is the outside border. So I'm just noticing its position. Okay, the idea here is just to see do you think it's positioned straight up and down where you'd expect it to be? If you notice, mine is a little bit to the side. Instead of it being straight up and down, my patella is a little bit to the side. And then I want you to compare both sides. So put your fingers on either side and then see, in my case, both of them are tilted a little bit to the outside. Okay, so that's number one. You're going to look at the position. Write down whatever comments you have, but write down something. The number two thing you're going to do is check on the mobility. So still with your knee relaxed, I'm going to move my patella in and out. Some people get a little freaked out doing this, but you can do it. If you're not relaxed, if you're contracted, you're not going to be able to move it. So really relax. We're just observing how much side to side motion there is. I will tell you, this is a little bit more motion than usual. So use this portion of me showing you. This is probably a little bit more motion than normal. You might find that you have very little motion. You might find that you have medium amount, or you might find, like me, that it really goes whoop in and out. Not that one's better than the other, we're just saying. And you can compare the motion of both. Maybe one of your patellas is more mobile than the other. That was number two. Number three is going to involve sitting down. So I'm going to have to stand up and please pardon the mess here. But we're all friends by now, so it's okay. For the third part, you're going to have to be seated. Okay, so the third part is tracking. So you're going to be seated and I'm going to feel my patella as I extend and flex. Let me move this over just a bit. I'll hit the table. So I put my fingers on the medial and lateral border of my patella. And then I notice what happens. What should happen is that your fingers move straight up and then come straight down. And mine do that. They're kind of in the same line. If you follow them, it's like they stay in the same track. They go up and they go down. Sometimes you might see that when you track, they go to the side a little bit. Sometimes you may not have very much movement, and that would be kind of a hypo mobile. But what I'm showing you is pretty normal. My fingers are going to go up somewhat and then come back down. Any more than this, you would say that there's excessive mobility. Any less than that, you would say that there's limited mobility. Not that one's right or wrong, but just go ahead and make the observations. All right, there you go, folks.